Well, that didn't go as planned. No. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's going through my head right now. Um, it just annoys me. Uh, I mean, he did kind of, he did recover from the headbutt in a way. Um, Dan didn't say anything when we were in there. He was still fighting. So, you know, it, it was fine. To me, it was fine. If that would have happened to me, it would have been fine. If he would, he would have stood back up and if he would have got back to his feet and knocked me senseless, they would have made a big deal about him on ESPN saying, oh, he got suffered a headbutt and then got up and knocked me out. But because he recovers off of a, um, a headbutt and gives me up his back and I choke him, I get in no contest. So it is what it is. I don't know. So it sounded like Kevin wanted to do a rematch. Um, is yeah. That something you're interested in? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. Um, uh, it would have bothered me. It, it, it's, it's still going to bother me. It's going to haunt me until I get the win. So, I mean, it's only more motivation throughout training. Did you kind of know what was going on, uh, or did you think you won, and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, what's going on? Or No, yeah, I, I, I we got into the exchange. I saw him fall flat. I didn't know if I had hit him or something happened. I didn't feel the headbutt at the time. Uh, I guess just the heat of the moment. Um, he was on the ground. He was trying to control, trying to throw a triangle up. I turned. He turned his back. Um, my coach said, "Choke, go for, right for the choke." I jumped right, right on his back, right for the choke. He fought it, so I don't. I don't know what more I could have done in there. I mean, I don't know. So, if you don't get a rematch, um, is there, you know, when you want to get back in there? Doesn't bother me. Um, I'm healthy right now. Uh, I have a little bump in my elbow from the fence. That's about it. Um, uh, I'm going on vacation next weekend, so anything eight weeks after that is fine. My brother has a fight in December, so probably after that or. Yeah, after that, I'm going to let him focus on what he has to focus on. It's the biggest fight of his life right now. So, yeah, anything after that, next, maybe early next year, I don't know. But we got to figure shit out about the money issues and stuff like that and see what's going on. So in this situation, you know, obviously there wasn't a win, so you're not going to get a win bonus, I, I assume. No. Okay. But Is that something you're going to ask for anyways? No. Why would I? They said it's no contest. There, there's no reason I should get – my uh, record's not going to say 11-2. and two. It's going to say 10-2-1. and one. So there's no need for me to get a – get an extra bonus. Thank you. Going off kind of what she was saying, when you guys were up there and you see them having this long discussion on the outside of the cage, yeah. did you guys have any idea that they were still possibly discussing a no contest or did, uh, did you kind of think that they were just going to still give you the win after that? No, I don't know. I thought they were just kind of looking over it to see like, if they, Dan had made a mistake on the call. Um, I'm not really sure. And then I saw, um, who was it? Who's the referee? Uh, one of the referee. referees threw up a, a yellow light and they told us in the back of the yellow light goes up, replays on the review. So I knew right from there, I was like, all right, I'm getting screwed over here. Well, not really screwed over, but yeah. And I'm sure there's a lot of frustration. I'm sure later yeah. on, you know, like you said, you know, if it was the other way around, you know, you probably wouldn't be as frustrated. But when you know that there is a process in there for this, are yes. you glad or is it still a little bittersweet that that process, a review process? No, you know, the rules are the rules. Um, those are the rules. If, if it says in the writing that all of, uh, you know, fight ending headbutts or whatever. But that's another thing. It wasn't a fight ending headbutt. Like, it's not like I, I, it's not like we headbutted. Dan called the fight and he couldn't continue. He recovered. I took his back and choked him. Like, I don't know what else I could have done. But, you know, it's in the rules. So I have to abide by them. I have to, um, yeah, just abide by them and move on. So. I think that's a lot of what, kind of what the, the commentary was alluding to, too. It looked like Dan w moved in like he was going to stop it or was going to say something. But saw that Kevin was fighting back, you know, could you tell that he was compromised and, or, or do fighters like yourself at this level are able to sort of do sub, I mean, are superhuman things and are able to recover from. I mean, obviously he was hurt. He fell flat to his face. Yeah. But again, like you said, Dan was going to stop, going to jump in. He didn't. Um, the ref, the, yeah, the ref didn't jump in. Um, Kevin threw up a triangle, had my wrist control. I struck it off and the fight continued. So if the fight would have continued and, then the round would have ended. I'm sure this fight would be going completely different. Uh, I'm not going to be biased and say that, you know, like they were kind of watching his back or anything like that. I'm not going to say that because that's probably not, that's not the UFC's intentions or anything like that. But, you know, if he would have got up right from that headbutt and knocked me senseless, that would have been on ESPN top 10 tomorrow. So I don't know. Before, before the, before the clash of heads going into that, how happy are you with how it was going? I mean, you were controlling them. You were getting up up against the cage. You were sort of having your way. Did you feel like the fight um, was playing out how you wanted to? And, and did anything that he was trying to do surprise you out there? No, yeah, he was a lot more explosive than I expected. Um, but, you know, he leaps in and lunges with his punches. I knew, that was, I knew he was going to do that, so I dipped out of that uh, left hand he was throwing or that right hand that he was throwing. Um, but, no, he was a lot more explosive than I thought. That was about it. Uh, his defense on the cage obviously helped a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, nothing expected, nothing surprised me. 
what did you think when he starts uh, jawing to the guys outside of the cage again? I expected it. I knew it was coming. Um, but again, I was quiet, cool, collected. I thought I need him low, and I apologized during the fight, but that was all I said to him. Um, but yeah, it, it is what it is. He can, he can, guys in there can talk all they want. I'm just going to go in there, nose to the grindstone, and just, just try to run through them. And last thing for me, so what's the immediate next thing? Do you go back to the gym planning for a rematch with Kevin, or do you just go back and try to just recoup and just be open to, to whatever comes? No, I'm open to whatever the UFC wants to do. If they want to give me a Kevin again, that's fine. Um, if they want to give me somebody else, that's fine. Because, you know, Kevin was talking about Lou hold and talking about going to 170, all this other shit. So, I don't know. We'll see what he wants to do next. Thank you very much for coming back and talk to us. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.